All right, so you're thinking about a workplace romance. And in this hour, you've already heard from an ethicist who says, don't do it. That was Bruce Weinstein. And then you also heard from an, uh, an employment attorney uh, who says, you know what, know some of the rules and you may want to consider discussing this. Uh, all right, so lots of things. So we're going to bring back all of our guests here to talk about the rules of engagement. Here are some of the things that you had to say about the worries or the pitfalls about getting involved at work. Obviously, there's a, a, a certain ethical code that should be followed in the workplace. Well, I think uh, a certain amount of decorum ought to be followed. And I think they should be disclosed to human resources. Almost every company has some sort of rule uh, governing that sort of thing, but uh, it's hard for companies to govern nature. I think if there's different departments um, within the, the job, then they should have to work within separate departments because I think that the relationship can get in the way of the duties of the job. I guess it depends on the work situation because every job is different. You know, there's you've got you know big corporate jobs where you can be on you know different floors of the building, whereas there's like I work in a very small hair salon and you know that would be just difficult to date someone that, within that same hair salon because you're always around. Okay, so we brought everybody back to discuss these rules of engagement. We already know what ethicist Bruce Weinstein has to say about this. He says, no, don't do it. Forget it. Well, it's not, not ethical. Well, not quite, Frederica. Not <laughs> really? Not quite. Okay, no, good. Then my... we'll give you a chance to elaborate okay. on this. Let me reintroduce everybody then. Uh, employment attorney Robin Bond is also back with us. The author is Nicole Williams and Rosemary uh, Aganito is also back with us. An engaged couple, they met at Yahoo while at work, Jess Barron and Chris Strimbu, as well as Josh Levs. Okay, you, you say, Bruce, wait a minute, you're not completely discouraging it. That's I don't know, right. it sounded That's like you right. were. In my article called The Ethics of Office Romance, which I wrote for Business Week Online, I have three simple rules that anyone should follow if they're thinking about going into an office romance. First okay. of all, go in with your eyes wide open. That means if the relationship fizzles out or, pro or coworkers complain, one or both of you may have to leave the department that you're in or even leave the place of work. Mm. Secondly, be discreet. Discretion is the better part of sex, so this means no kissy-kissy, no lovey-dovey at work. And third, if you're thinking about having sex with a manager or you are the manager and you're thinking about having sex with your assistant, don't. That's it. Three okay. Rules. Well, Jess, Chris, do you like what you heard? I mean, some of the things that you shared earlier about how you decided to proceed, you just heard reiterated by Bruce there. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. And I Any think added tips you want to offer to anybody? Well, I think uh, for our situation it worked out too because I wasn't a direct report to Jessica. So mm -hmm. I think if the situation was a little bit different and she was my manager, then it definitely would have played out a little bit differently. But I think anybody who's interested in pursuing something, you know, just go in it with an even, you know, you got, you got to think about mm -hmm. it before you're going to do it. And you've got to really consider some of the possibility of what's going to come out of it professionally and also what people might think of it. So. All right, Robin Bond, you had some tips at the top of the hour, and that included talking it over, hashing out the details, and going slow. What more would you want to add to the rules of engagement? Well, definitely you have to have a strategy of who's going to do what. And if this is getting serious, um, I think like Jeff and Chris were saying, you know, you have to talk about it. Well, which of us should leave? Where could we go? And don't wait till the 11th hour. Put this in place before you have a problem. You know, definitely want to be thinking good strategy and good tactics. All right, Rosemary, what is a must have? What do you really need to abide by if you're thinking about getting into a relationship at work or you're in one and you want to stay in it? Well, I think to keep it very simple, there are two things, knowledge and common sense. You have to know what you're doing. That is, do you know whether the other person is married in a long-term relationship? If so, run to the door. Uh, do mm. you know your company's policy? You must know your company's policy. If you are contemplating uh, having a relationship with a boss, mm. then under no conditions should you be reporting to that person. Under no condition should that person be making decisions about your advancement, your pay, promotions, etc. cetera. Uh, so that's the knowledge part of it. Mm -hmm. The other part is common sense. 
you you look we all have common sense or we ought to <laughs> but sometimes that, that goes out the window when you decide you like somebody yes <laughs> uh, it, it does that's true but if we use the most fundamental of common sense is that yeah. look I'm having a relationship in a public place okay therefore I do not behave the way I behave if I'm in private all right this Nic is a workplace and Nicole your your book girls on top I, I blush when I say it, but anyway, I remember throughout the book, you've got all kinds of bullet points. What would be a bullet point of the rules of engagement if to get involved with somebody at work? Yeah, just to be careful. You know, I think we all have the same message relative to the fact that there is a risk inherent in this, and you really do need to be very mm. conscious about how you want to play this out. But honestly, at the same time, I want to say that some of the best relationships I've ever seen, I personally have been in a romantic relationship <laughs> with someone I worked with, you know, and as Jess and Chris have illustrated, there are some fantastic opportunities that come by virtue of working together and being able to prevent vet that person, knowing a thing about their intelligence, their character, their integrity. Yeah. There's a lot that you can get to know about someone at work that you can use to help discern whether or not this is a romantic opportunity for okay, you. Okay, and I hear I hear, heard from uh, Christina on my blog who says, here's a rule of engagement. She says, my friends and I are in our early and mid-20s. Our rule is no workplace romances, period. It can hurt your career in the long run. Being that guy or that girl doesn't always leave you anymore, uh, or I guess anymore, when you leave a job. Uh, we have these glorious things like Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter to keep those things haunting us. That coming from uh, Christina on my blog. We've got many more comments coming your way and your final thoughts to all our experts right after this.